Hey, good Monday morning. Yeah, Monday, April 11th, 2022. It's the Monday of Holy Week. <clears throat> and today, I just want to wish each and every one of you a blessed Holy Week. I want you to use this time to focus, to think about your faith and your walk with Christ. If you're a follower of Jesus, you know how special this time of year is. And if you're not, you probably have questions about the meaning of everything that you see on social media when it comes the Holy Week. Yesterday was Palm Sunday, and we had palm branches that everyone received, and we remember the stories of Jesus as he ascended from the Mount of Olives in Jerusalem, and he went to the temple. Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. But the journey continues. And for those wondering what Holy Week is all about, I'm not going to get deep when it comes to theology. Theology means the study of God, thinking about God. We all do it. We just don't use big words. But I'm going to share a story that was originally told by Paul Harvey. Paul Harvey was a radio personality that I admired and respected. He was a voice that taught lessons, taught history, and helped us understand what was happening in the world. The story I'm sharing with you today is my devotion is called The Birdcage. I hope you enjoy. There once was a man named George Thomas. He was a pastor in a small New England town. One Easter Sunday morning, he came to the church carrying a rusty, bent old birdcage. He set it by the pulpit. Everybody, everybody was staring. Several eyebrows were raised, and as if in response, Pastor Thomas began to speak. I was walking through town yesterday when I saw a young boy coming toward me. He was swinging this bird cage. On the bottom of the cage were three little wild birds. And from the distance, I could see that they were shivering with cold and they were frightened. I stopped the young man. I asked, what you got there, son? Oh, just some old birds, came the reply. Well, what are you going to do with them? I asked. I'm going to take them home, and I'm going to have fun with them. The young boy answered, I'm going to tease them. I'm going to pull out their feathers. I'm going to make them fight. I'm going to have a real, real good time. But you'll get tired of those birds sooner or later. What will you do then? Oh, I got some cats, said the little boy, and they like birds. I'll take those birds to the cats. Pastor was silent for a moment. How much do you want for those birds, son? Huh? Why, you, you don't want these birds, mister. They're just plain old field birds. They don't sing, and they ain't even pretty. How much? The pastor asked again. The boy sized up the, the pastor as if he were crazy. He said, $10, $10. Pastor reached in his pocket, took out a $10 bill. He placed it in the boy's hand, and in a flash, the boy was gone. Pastor picked up the cage. He gently carried it to the end of the alley where there was a tree and a grassy spot. He sat the cage down. He opened the door, and by softly tapping the bars, he persuaded the birds out, setting them free. Well, that explained the empty bird cage on the pulpit. And then the pastor began to tell another story. One day, Satan and Jesus were having a conversation. Satan had just come from the Garden of Eden. He was gloating and he was boasting. Yes, sir, I just caught me a world full of people down there. I set me a trap. I, I used bait. I knew they couldn't resist. And now I got them all. What are you going to do with them? Jesus asked. 
Satan replied, oh, I'm going to have fun with them. I'm going to teach them how to marry and divorce each other, how to hate and abuse each other. I'm going to teach them how to drink and smoke and curse. I'm going to teach them how to invent guns and bombs and how to kill each other. I'm really going to have fun, Satan replied. And what will you do when you get done with them? Jesus asked. Oh, I'm going to kill them all, Satan replied. I'm going to kill them all. How much do you want for them? Jesus asked. Oh, you don't want those people. They ain't no good. Why, you'll take them and, and they'll just hate you. They'll spit on you. They'll curse you and they'll kill you. You don't want those people. They are just no good. Jesus looked Satan in the eyes. How much? Satan looked at Jesus and sneered. Give me all your tears and all your blood. Jesus said, it is finished. He bowed his head. And he paid the price. The pastor picked up the cage, opened the door, and he walked from the pulpit. John chapter 15 verse 13 reminds us, Greater love has no one than this, to lay down, to lay down one's life for his friends. This is a story of Holy Week, of love and redemption. God bless each and every one. Have a great day.